How does a plant help you breathe? Our little green friends, plants and algae, are actually responsible for producing all of the oxygen that we breathe. Every breath of every day, of every year, of our entire lives. Oh my days, thank you, plant. And if you don't believe me, let me show you. So what I have here is a plant called Elodea Densa. Sounds a bit like something from Harry Potter, doesn't it? Elodea Densa! For this to work, we need water and, of course, our plant. And you can get these plants from pet shops, aquariums, garden centres and, of course, online. And Elodea Densa produces loads and loads of oxygen. It makes so much oxygen that I can show you. What I'm going to need is a light. I've got an LED here, which is perfect because it means that the Elodea Densa isn't going to get too hot because uh, we really don't want to cook it. The other thing I need is sodium bicarbonate or baking soda or bicarbonate of soda. I need this because it will increase the amount of carbon dioxide in the water. In plants and algae, carbon dioxide and water in the presence of light turn into oxygen and glucose. And that's all a wonderful process called photosynthesis. Every plant around the world, in Amazon, on your window ledge, in the ocean, every plant and alga gets its energy from the sun. They use this energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose. That's what makes the leaves and trees grow, which then creates the plants that we eat. And it gives out something else, a byproduct, that good old gas that you and I need to breathe, oxygen. Inside all the plants and algae are little things called chloroplasts. And inside those chloroplasts is a chemical called chlorophyll. And it's that chlorophyll that changes carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. And it's not just plants on land like these two here. Did you know that 70% of the Earth's oxygen comes from plants in the ocean? That includes these tiny little microscopic plants called phytoplankton. That all means that seven out of every 10 breaths that every human takes comes from the sea. And our little water plant is really good at giving out oxygen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a solution of my sodium bicarbonate. So I'll take about this much and just pop it in some water. Give it a little shake about. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Wonderful. And now there'll be lots of carbon dioxide in there. So pop some of the Elodea in here and pour our solution on top. Yeah, you like that, don't you? I'm gonna chop the stems of my plant and I need to do it at a 45 degree angle, like that. What this does is it stops an airlock forming and we don't want an airlock because if there's an airlock, we're not gonna see any bubbles. I'm also gonna use a funnel to help me see the bubbles. So I'm just gonna pop that on top of my plant like a nice funnily hat. I'm gonna put it near the light, about five centimeters away, and then there we are. And now let's see what happens. Okay, so as the light shines on the plant, what we can see are bubbles of oxygen just starting to float up the funnel. And that's because the plant right here in front of my very eyes is photosynthesizing. It's doing that chemical reaction I was talking about earlier. Go on, Elodea, bubble away. It's like a little bubble party starting up now. Fantastic, more and more. Oh yeah, there's a few big ones then. Now whilst this seems like quite a little experiment, you know, you just saw a few tiny little bubbles. Just take a moment to think about all the plants that there are in the world and all the billions and billions of bubbles being released in oceans, ponds, rivers, and even your back garden. And when you take a moment to think about it like that, I feel like it really highlights the harmony of our world and how much we rely on plants for the oxygen that we need to survive. I just think plants are actually really cool. And to be honest, I wish I could be one of them. Oh, I didn't actually mean it. <laughs>